It's a great day today as I'm joined by Rupert Grin and Nell Tiger Free from the new Apple TV Plus original show, Servant. You can watch it right now on the Apple TV app on iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, Mac and online at tv.apple.com. I am very, very into the show, guys. We're about halfway through the first series. It's at that point for me where I watch it and then I wake up in the morning and I it's the first thing I think of, <laughs> which I guess is a good sign, right? Yeah, it stays with you, doesn't time. it? It's it does stay with you. the doll. Can you just explain, Rupert, for someone who maybe hasn't seen it yet, what's the premise of the show? Okay, so the, the story follows uh, Dorothy and Sean, who are a couple who live in uh, Philadelphia, and they've just uh, gone through an unspeakable tragedy. They've lost a son. And my character, Julian, who's Dorothy's brother-in-law, Sean, uh, see this kind of alternative therapist and have this idea to get a reborn doll to replace the... Uh, dead child and Dorothy then believes that it's that it's the real kid say I'm also in it <laughs> <laughs> yeah I was, coming, I was coming to it um, I mean there's a lot to unpack from that mm. already but now you are in it you play the nanny Leanne and you move in to the uh, to the house of this couple in Philadelphia and immediately weird things start to happen mm. what I want to know from you is when you were reading the script how quickly were you drawn into it almost immediately I would say I think when I, when I read the first episode, I didn't know anything about the show. And so at first glance, it was just, you know, young girl hired to live in the house. There was no, <clears throat> there was no note of anything supernatural in the first like five pages. Cause they're, you know, they're only 25, 30 pages long. When I was reading and I discovered it was a doll, I was like, oh, no way. And then I got to the end and I don't want to ruin it for anyone. But the final words of the first episode, I was like, OK, I have to do this. And M. Night Shyamalan uh, directed it or ex executively produced it. In fact, he is an incredible person over the past three decades in film. When you think of Sixth Sense and Village and everything that he's done, how key is Knight's vision here? I think that it's absolutely key. I mean, he... He directed the first episode, he directed our pilot, and I think that set the tone for the rest of the show. It wasn't really like a, you know, drop your kids off at school and leave. Like, he mm -hmm. stayed and he... Yeah, he was actively He was actively there always. Rupert, there's a great quote that he said about you. I think it was at one of the premieres, I've got it in front of me, it says, I don't know if I've ever seen this kind of reinvention from child actor to adult actor in my life. And coming from Knight, that's a real lovely thing to say, isn't it? It's amazing, yeah. No, it means, I mean, I love Knight. He was a huge attraction for me to to be a part of this. Um, I think he's just an absolute master of this genre. Yeah, I recently found out he was actually going to he was going to direct one of the uh, Harry Potter movies. Really? Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah, which would have been which would have been quite fun. That would have been awesome. Yeah. When you think of this role, <laughs> uh, you're a pot smoking, alcoholic, potentially yeah. American, dishevelled. Yeah. It's a long, long way from where you started out. Do you relish the chance to get? far away from, you know, maybe what may, people might perceive you as, as coming from. Yeah, Julian is that kind of, he's, he's complete opposite to, to anything I've ever really done. He's, he's this real hedonist. He has to have something. If it's wine, tequila slammers, which is a new one on me. <laughs> I'm not really a wine guy. Though. That was quite, well, that's one of the hardest bits of the show was kind of to open wine. I'm not very good at that. How is it working in such a small cast? Because there are four main characters in this uh, in this series. There's one house which you're in for maybe 90% of the time, certainly in the first four episodes, which we've seen. You know, it's small, isn't it? Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> you drive me mad. No, it was yeah. great. It kind of does affect you. Just being in the house, I, I felt such a relief leaving the place. because it's Really? Yeah, it kind of, and it's an amazing set. Yeah, yeah, it's claustrophobic and it's, you can tell there's some, it's got a dark energy, which is... Yeah, I love that about it. I love the fact that it's set in darkness most of the time. Every time somebody has a bath, you know that something weird is going to happen. It's like, stop having baths and turn the lights on. That's all you need That's to do. That's true. Yeah. You like, sorted it out. Yeah. We know that series two of Servant is coming as well. Knight said he wants it to run for, I think, 60 episodes or something, which yeah. is an insane long timeline. That's exciting, isn't it? Do you know much about where the characters might go at this stage? Obviously, season one is wrapped up. I know absolutely nothing. And really? that's on that's honestly the truth. I feel like if they were gonna send it to any of the cast, they would not send it to me because yeah. I spoil everything. I'm so bad at it. I remember that hotel lobby you were just I was so bad. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Literally just, just disg discussing major plot points with Rupert in <laughs> yeah. like the hotel lobby. He's like, No, shut up. Yeah. I actually don't know how it ends this series. Serious? Not really, no. I, I, Even though I you've do. filmed it. 
yeah. don't know how it ends. Yeah, I don't, why? I because don't you know. just film your bits and then you don't well, see yeah, the rest. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't know. I don't want to say anything, but it's still shrouded in mystery to me. Um, now do you know how it ends? You know how it ends. I d- I she does tell. know how it ends. I, I can do. Tell. I told you, but you forgot. I don't think you did tell me. I did. I, it was worth it. I did tell you. Look, <laughs> every Friday, a new episode of Servant Drops. You're going to have to keep on watching. Um, thank you very much, Rupert and Nell. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Hi, Apple Music fans. It's Nell Tiger Free here. Watch Servant on Apple TV Plus and click the link below to listen to music from the show now on Apple Music.